Many times people want to know why God puts them through the things that he puts them through. It's all for his purpose. It's all for his will. It's all for the greater good of all of his children, not just one child, but all of them. I don't know if y'all know the story of the 99 sheep and the one that he didn't get. He went back for that one sheep because one sheep is just as important as important as the 99 matthew chapter 1 verse 22 states all of this occurred to fulfill the lord's message through the prophet many of his children that are going through heavy warfare and having to wait for promises to come to pass longer than others is because you have been called and chosen because you gave him your yes and now you're going through the preliminary steps where the Most High is pruning you and preparing you for your life, which is going to be simply amazing. But you have to go through the process because not only are you being blessed as a child of God through your marriage, through your children, through your life, you're also going to be a prophet or a prophetess. And that carries heavy weight. When, you're, when you have the mantle of prophecy, that's a heavy weight. That's just like being a pastor. We get judged first you know, before everybody else does because we're leading his flock. And there are things that must take place in us. Heart posture change, uh, perception change. We have to really be pruned and prepared for these things, okay? So if this resonates with your spirit, you know that the Most High has called you to be a prophet or a prophetess or uh, any, any, any ministry where you are ministering to his children just know that the reason why it's taken longer than others is because you have to be prepared for your mantle it's a heavy mantle guys but it's a blessing to be chosen by your father to steward over his children very heavy very heavy title very heavy mantle so feel blessed knowing that he trusts you with teaching his children and guiding his children to him. I pray that that helps. I pray that give that gives you a better understanding of why the wait is so long. Because not only are you going to minister over the people assigned to you, you're going to minister over your spouse and your children and people in your circle. You are the chosen one. So give him a shout of praise and go ahead and give him all the honor and glory now because one day you will not remember how you feel right now. This is just a, a preliminary course that you have to go through. And Satan is trying to get in your business and irritate you because you're already irritated. But don't let him get in. Don't give him a crack. Stay focused on the most high. Praise him. Listen to uh, the word. Listen to music that blesses your spirit, that keeps you in good spirits. Okay? Because that is what you are going to need. You have to fight the good fight. Fight the enemy, fight the principalities, because you are going to constantly get the pushback from the enemy because he doesn't want you to prevail in anything. He's a hater. So remember this, guys. I hope this encouraged you. I hope you understand a little bit better now. Remember, his ways are not our ways. But at the end of the day, he wanted me to come on here and let y'all know that and use that scripture, which is very beneficial and helpful to me as well. If you feel led to sow into the ministry or have a prayer request, the information is in the description box. Peace and blessings, guys.